an honor to have you here. My pleasure. Oh my God, I'm so stoked. I was like, wait, what? Wait, who's coming? Like, <laughs> it's the coolest thing ever to be a singer and have this talk show you never thought you'd have and then get to meet all these heroes that, you know, I've been listening to, still listen to. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to start with this. Doja Cat, who I love, just yes. sampled. Was it Walk On By? Walk On By. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that so cool? You're like listening to the songs, like come right back around? Yeah, it was amazing. I didn't know if that it had been recorded by her. And uh, my granddaughter called. Wait, they don't have to, they have to ask permission for that, right? No. Not oh! Really. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole separate episode, yeah, okay. <laughs> they sample it and that, it's, it's theirs. Oh my gosh. But, uh, and, and my granddaughter called me. Yeah. As Grammy. Yeah. Do you, do you know you're on a record with Doja Cat? I said, Doja who? <laughs> she said, she's, she's a rapper and she's a, and she was explaining she's great. all of this to me. And I said, okay, and what song are we talking about? She said, walk on by. You completely threw the entire song. And I said, okay. Well, apparently it's a major hit for her. Oh, no, no, it's huge. Paint the town and, red, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a, and I'm thrilled. It's a solid hit. That, you know, like I said, when I heard it, it had been done, I hope Walk On By is as good for her as it has been for me. Yeah. It's wonderful. I think what's cool about it, too, is like people, I'm sorry, you can clap. You were clapping, sorry. <laughs> um, I think what's interesting, too, is, you know, I grew up on that song. I love a lot of Burt Bacharach, obviously, a, a partner of yours that you worked with a lot. But um, I just think it's cool because it introduced people, like a whole different generation, yeah. to songs that they might not Absolutely. have known. Absolutely. And they're yeah. great songs and finally they're being exposed to yeah. good music. Yeah, yeah. amen. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to ask, I didn't know this, but your kind of, the breakout moment for you in your career was it, it was the first night that you were at Apollo, right? Were, yeah, we did, I did the, um, it was a gospel show, and my group, the Gospelers, appeared on the Amateur Night. And uh, <laughs> it was really weird because we, we decided to sing a song called To Those That Wait. It was yeah. recorded by a group out of Philadelphia, the Imperials, Imperials yeah. and who were appearing on the gospel show. And uh, we had no idea that they were standing in the wings while we sang their song. Oh, were you happy you didn't know? Uh, that yes, would have made me nervous. quite happy, yeah. believe me. But they were so kind to us. They said, you did a wonderful job. We're thrilled about you singing that song. And as it turned out, we won. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, people knew then. But I think what's even cooler is I heard afterwards you they they were like, hey, we're looking for some singers to be on this record. And then you ended up in the studio right after that. Yep, yeah, sure did. Our yeah. group went to uh, Newark, New Jersey. Yay, team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Savoy Records, and um, we did our very first background session yeah. for Sam the Man Taylor and Nappy Brown. Wow. And that was our introduction to singing the oohs and ahs and yay yays that you hear on recordings. Yeah. I just think it's a lesson, too, to say yes, because you were like, you didn't even, y'all. I heard that you didn't even know what y'all were saying yes to, really. <laughs> we didn't even know what background was. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, we'll do it. I, yeah, exactly. I love that, because you never know what experience will come from that. You also had to, this. I find this incredible, because it, it just seems so long ago, but it's actually not that long ago. But you toured during segregation. Like, yeah. how incredibly difficult was that? It was interesting, <laughs> to put it mildly. Uh, something I'd never experienced before. Yeah. But it was a case of, um, it, was, it became an adventure for me. Uh, one of those real rebels, real ones. Yeah. As me. And yeah. I'd never experienced anything that said, oh, you can't sit here, or you can't go there, or you can't drink this, or you can't. Can't sing I, this song. Excuse me. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I can't. No, of course, that doesn't exist in my vocabulary. Yeah, it's almost like when they tell you that, it's like, well, you've now made it a red button that I will be that pressing. Will pressing. Yeah. Several times. Yeah, I heard that one time that you, um, the the club or somewhere where you're performing said they didn't want you to perform a certain song, and you're like, that's in my yeah. set. I'm gonna sing it, and then y'all had to get off the stage. They ended up. Yeah, they closed the show down. It was um, Ray Charles. What I say, and there's a. a a verse in there that I changed a little of. Tell your ma, I'll tell your pa. And I'm gonna, it, the word is, I'm gonna send you back to Arkansas. But I said, I'm gonna segregate, I'm gonna integrate Arkansas. And they said, oh, you can't say that. Yes, I can. Watch me. <laughs> yeah. I can. 
I love and that. I did. And they it's important. showed out. <laughs> yeah, and it's important. So, I found this information out and I was certain in my soul that you had already been honored at the Kennedy Center. <laughs> it's like in my mind when I heard that, oh my gosh, you're gonna be honored at the Kennedy Center. I was, I was like, that hadn't already happened. Like for me in my brain, that had already existed. You but and no. so many others, they thought I had already been honored. As a matter of fact, even the Kennedy honors thought I had been honored. I know. I, <laughs> Whenever it happened, I was like, this has not happened yet. What's wrong with us as a race? I don't understand the human race right now. But I mean, you've, you've worked with, first of all, congratulations on that. That's incredible. I think it's overdue, but I think it's incredible. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, well, you have worked with and influenced so many artists um, in your career, so we wanted to talk about a few, because there's so many amazing ones. So we're going to start with Elvis, which I just find so random and awesome. I heard a story that was really cool about this man with you, but I want to make sure it's real. Yeah. And it involved him, like, signing some stuff? Yeah. That happened. It's real. Yeah. Oh, tell him. Okay. I was opening at the Sands Hotel, and he was opening at the, well, at the Continental at that time. And uh, I went over to see my Aunt Sissy, who was a part of the Sweet Inspirations. We were backing him up on the show. Yeah. And uh, was introduced to him. And he's such a nice man. Oh, he's so pretty. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, he really was, but he was so kind. And he says, oh, you're opening now. I said, yeah. He says, I am too. I said, I know. He said, well, when you go to your nearest record store, you're going to find a surprise for me. I'm going to give you a gift. I said, OK. And in every single one of my albums, he has signed an autograph photograph and stuck it inside. And he made the announcement from the stage, his stage, that if you buy Dionne Warwick CD, or what they call CDs now, it was an album. An album, yes. Yeah. Uh, if you buy one, you'll find a surprise inside of it. And it was a photograph of him. And he's like, that is so cool. Yeah. I mean, just that an artist goes out of their way to support another artist. That's, I know. That's it incredible. There's so many cool things about that. Yeah, I bet yeah. sales were well. Like, I tell, you, tell, yeah. tell me. Yeah, I was like, I bet they ran. They were like, <laughs> and later. Like, okay, so I, I heard this story too, which I just, you are so gangster. So I heard that you you called, is it Snoop Dogg and Suge Knight to your house for yes. a meeting? Mm -hmm. Please tell everyone this story. Because <laughs> you were listening to, a, and this is probably the age they were, so wait, so you you were listening to a song with your son? With son. Okay. Yes, uh, as it turns out, uh, Damon, who yeah. you'll meet, um, was in the car with me and this rap thing came on. Uh. <laughs> and, and he was saying every single word of it. I turned the radio off and said, how do you know every single word of that song? He says, oh, that's rap. I said, yeah, OK. I said, do you know the Declaration of Independence? Uh, no. Silent. <laughs> I said, well, I'll tell you what. Until you learn every single word of the Declaration of Independence and you, you say it to me, it, yeah, yeah. you will not listen to this kind of music. Oh, mommy. Yeah. Oh, oh, mommy is right. But then you called them to your house. Yeah, I called them to the house based on the fact that they were all using kind of not such nice words. Yeah, especially towards women. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, you know, I kind of, uh, and I was one of the very first ones to combat them with yeah. what they were saying, misogynistic words. Calling young ladies out of the name, you know, I said, how many young ladies do you see walking around on four legs of the tail? You know, and calling them out of their names. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so I, I made it my business to let them know that you made me part of the problem. Now I want you to make me part of the solution. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I, I actually had the opportunity to work with Snoop as well. Mm -hmm. And you must have made an impact because he's so respectful. He's like so yes, great to work is. with. He's like wonderful. Yeah. Now. He's, like I told him, I said, you're all going to grow up. 
you're going to meet somebody that you're going to fall in love with. And of course, no, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're going to get married, you're going to have children, and one of those children is going to be a young lady, a little girl. And eventually that little girl's going to hear what you recorded. And she's going to look at you and she's going to ask you, Daddy, did you really say that? Yeah. And I get in trouble for saying, damn. My kids will call me up for saying, damn. That's right. But, yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine the hell they're going to get? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But it happened. Yeah. You know, and he, he still to the day thanks me. Yeah. He's so cool. I love him. Yes, yeah. He's, He's fun to work with. You never know what's going to happen.